Hey guys, we're still here in Bad Axe, Michigan, and we're driving around just checking out the neighborhoods. I just wanted to show you this from our hometown. So, you know, we're from San Diego County, and I'm not sure where you're from, but Michigan has some gorgeous property. Look at these streets. I mean, just green for days, trees for days, tons of room spread out, gorgeous, gorgeous homes. So we're having fun kind of just taking a little drive right now. I got everyone in the car. I got Tyler. I got his girlfriend, Maddie. They're right there. Say hi, guys. Hi. There's Caleb and there's Mima. So I'm driving a bunch of daisies in here and we're gonna go have some fun at the beach. We're gonna have fun visiting some family. He just graduated. We're out of here. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm back. We just made it to Lake Huron and this place is gorgeous. Um, at home, we have the ocean and I'm gonna let you know this is a lake but it looks like the ocean, check out behind me. So we're gonna go out there and take a look at it. Let's go take a walk out here and go out to the lookout ball. All right, we're gonna walk down the bridge. Check this out. I mean, this is amazing. My nephew, Mr. Graduate, right there, taking us on tourists right now. Kayaks. We're gonna do that. Maybe another day. Check out this beautiful, beautiful area. And you know, in our world, because this is a lake, we would call this a shoreline. But in Michigan, they call these their beaches. So. Fresh water, we're gonna try to catch some pike or a sturgeon. We'll see if we get lucky. It's super windy. So we've got lots of waves going on. But on Lake Huron, again, the wind is crazy. Definitely fishing from shore. We're not getting out in that water. Six to seven foot waves out in the middle of that lake. Not even gonna try that. So, anyways, we'll be back. Watch this. I'm gonna show you how windy it is. so good because it's 90 degrees outside it's super super windy and my nephew just told me that during the winter this actually completely freezes over to the point that you can ride a snowmobile over it it's super super thick and this is a huge piece of water when I look out behind me you can't see land at all so totally fun it's gorgeous out here we're gonna go keep looking ah, I got wet again and <laughs> so much fun the wind is super super strong and the water feels so good. We may jump in, we'll see. We've also spotted fish, so we have hope in the next couple days that we may actually, <laughs> we may actually catch a fish or two. Oh my goodness, I just got it again. Anyways, I'll be back. Okay guys, the waves are being tough and I don't think we're jumping in here today, but we're definitely gonna go to the beach and go where it's sandy. 
and a little bit uh, less risky, you know? It's not even risky, but jumping in this, you got lots of rocks below you. Maddie's hanging off the ladder to get wet. <laughs> Same cold. Um, Caleb is even saying no, no, no. You know, when kicking it with Caleb says no, that's like, I'm gonna pay attention. You're not jumping in here. You don't wanna jump in. Yeah, we're gonna go to the beach. So we're gonna show you the beach. You've seen now the rocky spots of the Or where we're at. What is this called again, Maddie? Where we're at? Port Austin. We're in Port Austin, but it's what preserve? Oh, oh, we're not there yet. Never mind. We're just at the breaker wall in Port Austin. Not even to the pretty spot yet. See my little tour guides? That's Tyler right there. That's my nephew. Tyler, Mr. Graduate right there. And then next to him, his girlfriend, Madeline. She goes by Maddie though. She's super, super sweet. So we're gonna go check something else out and we'll be back. So we're on this cool little trail to a private beach. And right now we're hiking through these dunes that are covered with this grass that are protected. So anyways, I just wanted to show you and I'll show you what we find on the other side of the hill. Gotta take off the shoes for this sand. Sorry. You're all right. Uh, it's safe to say here, we're going swimming. So we're gonna go get wet and enjoy that cold water. It's 90, at least 90 degrees and a little bit humid here. And that looks extremely refreshing. There's no rocks over here, it's just sand. And we're gonna go enjoy. See you in a little. Wow. So pretty out here. The water feels so good on my feet right now. Walking through this sand. Nemo's behind me. Caleb and everyone in front. And we're going swimming. And kicking it with Caleb is out here with me at the shore. Check him out. He's having so much fun. This water feels so good. Caleb, what are you thinking? It's cold. It's cold? I think he's gonna go jump off that platform right there. Come on, Hi, Mima. We made it to the shoreline. Check out this beach. That platform, I'm pretty sure, kicking it with Caleb is going to jump off. And we're going to go into that and have some fun. And it's a little cold, but it's 90 degrees out here. Caleb's in, Maddie's in, Tyler's almost in. Time for this sucker to get in. See ya. All right, at home, Caleb's constantly picking on Raleigh to get Raleigh to take him down. And guess what, babe? He's doing it to my nephew too. So now his cousin, who just got sand put down his pants, is on his way to take Caleb down. This happens at home all the time. Funny. Just don't change sometimes. So anyways, bye Caleb. <laughs> That's what happened on your bigger cousin. You get dunked. See ya. I think you should jump off that thing again. Oh. So cold.
while he swims over there. It is still so windy, but it's 90 degrees outside. It's probably maybe 85 now. I don't know. It's cooled off a little bit, but this feels so incredible. There's water behind me. I mean, it's clear. I can see my feet, and this goes on for quite a ways at this depth, and I'm only like waist height. And I could go out for a while and still be this, like these people out here a little further than me. So Caleb's gonna take this plunge. Hey guys, we're here in they Michigan. Mima's in here taking everything out. Look at her. Oh, she's got to pass everything out. There's something. Anyways, you know, she, she has to do it too because if any now? of us try to help her, we're going to have Mexican food in Michigan in the for the first car. time in the rental car. And hopefully it's good. Their horchata is good. I just tried their horchata and this carne asada burrito. Oh, here we go. I got to pee. My mom ruins everything. <laughs> I just ruined the video. Did you hear her? You guys should have seen her. Okay, so we're at the shore. Shut up. Nicole. What happens, mom? Nothing. So she sits there and she's like, I'm not going in the water. I'm not going in the water. I'm not going in the water. Guess what happened? She went in the water. You know why? She went to go and clean off her legs and then the earth ate her and she, <laughs> <laughs> she sank to her thighs and it was not funny what happened. Well, it was kind of funny. She even laughed. <laughs> All right, guys, we're out of here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that post notification bell for more uploads. We'll see you later. Shh. <laughs>